Greetings! Now that we have established a bond of trade between Grizzleheim and Wizard City, all wizards can benefit. I have a trade partner in Grizzleheim who can help you learn some new magic. How does that sound? Go to Northgard in Grizzleheim and speak to Eric Weirdroom. He knows where new spells can be had, and he will share them freely. Welcome. I am a seeker of knowledge. The mysteries of runes and magic are mine, but I will share them. I do modest trade dealing with spells, and would greatly enjoy sharing my spells with a wizard of Wizard City. There is one problem, though. A minor one you may be able to help me with. A warlock named Wagner Runethief stole my spell scrolls from me. Wagner skulks in a cave in Murkholm Keep, a place I cannot go. If you can go to Wagner Runethief's cave in Murkholm Keep, defeat Wagner, and get my spells back, I will gladly share a spell with you. Did that fool Eric Weirdrune send you? No matter. I'll send you back where you came from. You see a scroll stand nearby. Perhaps that's where Eric Weirdrun's spells are being kept. These look like the spells Eric described. They have his rune upon them.
My spells, thank you so much. I am as good as my word. Here is a spell for you. From your clothing and your manner, you hail from another world. Grizzleheim is an old world, ancient of days, and red in tooth and claw. I have troubling news from Grizzleheim. It seems as if the cold day we feared has come to pass. Your old friend in Grizzleheim, Bjorn Ironclaws, sends word that the ravens of the coven have struck once again. Bjorn sent word to ask you to venture to Northgard in Grizzleheim and speak to him at once. Uh, your instructors are aware you may miss some class time. Uh, there may be make-up work when this matter is complete. Exciting news. Oh, exciting news indeed. Professor Bailstrom's efforts to enter the door to Celestia have met with success. Who oh, there, Outlander? Forgive me! My gladness at seeing you is outmatched by my dread of the curse upon Grizzleheim. Your presence humbles me. I am only the second greatest hero in Grizzleheim when you visit my world. Times are grim. Though you defeated them before, the evil members of the Coven have struck again. We fear that this is the final act of their terrible plan to curse the Spiral with the dreaded Everwinter. King Valgard Goldenblade has need of your spells. Enter his hall and speak with him if you are a true hero. I am pleased you heard my call. As Bjorn Ironclaws told you, the evil ravens of the Coven are trying to bring the Everwinter upon Grizzleheim. Once this dreadful cold comes, it will wreath our world in ice, and the freeze will spread throughout the spiral. Though the Coven met their defeat at your hands, they crept from their hidey holes and struck again. There is much to tell you, but still more that I do not know. Your old friend, Raffin Lorespeaker in Ravenscar, wishes to speak with you. He knows more about this grim threat. that I had better news for you, wizard. The Coven has returned after the same goal, the Everwinter. You have heard of the titans of storm, fire, and ice, yes? They were the first beings before the spiral was made. The ice titan sleeps deep beneath Grizzleheim, sent into a centuries-long slumber by Bartleby himself. The Coven would rouse the Ice Titan from that eternal rest. When he rises, his fury will be cold and fierce. The runes tell me that the Coven is at work in Hrundlefjord, a port in the part of Grizzleheim called Winter Tusk. You must use your wits, your spells, and your courage to defeat the Coven once more. Only you can do this deed. Go and speak to Valgard Goldenblade once more, and tell him that Hrundle Fjord is where you must go. I can see from your grim demeanor that Raffin has told you much. So Raffin Lorespeaker tells you that the Coven is up to their evil in Hrundle Fjord. This angers and frightens me. I have not heard from my subjects in Rundlefjord in some time, and I worry that they have met with trouble. 
Balder Goldpaws is at the dock of Northgard. He can take you to the part of Wintertusk called Rundlefjord. Go now and speak to Balder, and go to Rundlefjord with the king's favor at your side like a trusted sword. Hello there, young wizard. How can I help you? You wish to journey to Rundlefjord? It is a simple task. Step over to my ship and we will set sail. Here it is! Rundlefjord, part of Wintertusk. If you wish to return to Northgard, or return here from Northgard, my ship is at your service. Long has it been since I visited Rundlefjord. It is clear that something is terribly wrong. There is an unseasonable chill in the air, and I have never seen a ship with such ice upon it. Stride over to that nearby ship, if you will, and see what ails it and the crew who stand beside it. To examine the long ship, this ice is not natural. It was frozen in place here at the dock. These warriors were frozen in their tracks. Powerful ice magic is at work here. There are others who could have done this, but I'll wager that the Coven is behind this dread chill. Ill-doing at the docks can only be a sign that further mischief is afoot. You should go and examine the gates to Fjord and see if they were able to withstand this wretched cold. Go and scout only. Do not open the gates or enter the village just yet. There may be trouble within. As a captain, I cannot abandon my longship, so I will wait here for your return. The gates are closed and appear to be locked, like the cold Silence radiates from within the village. The gates are locked, eh? That is a sure sign of trouble. In kinder times, the village guards would have seen the sails of my ship and opened the gate to greet us. I suspect that the village of Rundlefjord is in the icy clutches of evildoers. There must be a way through the gates. Perhaps a secret signal to alert those inside. Those frostbones outside the gate may know more about getting inside. You should defeat a few frostbones and see how they signal to one another.
As you defeat this Frostbones, it signals its allies by banging its sword on its shield. More of them bang their shields in reply. It is a code of some sort. They bang their swords upon their shields instead of speaking? This is an ancient means of signaling. Warriors of old call it Norse code. It is clear that the town has fallen to evil. Go and use Norse code to signal your way past the gate. The Thane of Harundel Fjord is named Vanir Stormroll. If he lives, he will be in the village's hall. Seek him out and return to me once you know his fate. tap on the gate a few times, and something that sounds like Norse code, a moment later, it opens. Vanir is frozen solid. You should tell Balder the bad news. Vanir alone could tell us what happened to Rundle Fjord. We must devise a way to thaw Vanir's storm lord without harming him. This is raven magic. We need a raven. If I remember rightly, an old crone named Morn Shadowbrew dwells within Rundle Fjord. Though she was wicked and unkind, she may be able to help us if she has not been turned to ice. Go and seek her out and see if she can be convinced to help us in this cold hour. Join the others in their wintry doom. must speak to him, here is how to thaw him. Go to the geysers at the edge of the village and collect some scalding water. Here's an urn you can use. Just pour it over Vanir. He should thaw in a matter of moments. It is magic ice. Only geyser water will serve.
You collect the steaming geyser water in the urn Morn gave you. You're careful not to burn yourself. You pour the steaming geyser water upon the frozen thing. In a moment or so, he is free from the ice. What has happened? I was in my hall, ready to fight the coven. When I became quite cold, I remember no more. What has happened? I was in my hall, ready to fight the coven. When I became quite cold, I remember no more. Now I am soaked and steaming. My state lacks dignity. But I am grateful to you for my freedom. I don't recognize you, but you're clearly a wizard of some sort. You freed me, so I will trust you. The one you must speak to is Grandmother Raven. She is an old one, older than even the spiral. It is said she gave the eyes of time to the great tree at the heart of the spiral. But that was long, long ago. She is a loyal ally of my people. I bid you, check on her, see how she fares. I fear that the coven has done her ill. Grandmother Raven is often near the giant tree behind this hall. Go and seek her out. Greetings, young wizard. At long last, we meet. I have long watched you as you made your way through the spiral. Perhaps you have felt my presence before. I celebrated your victories, and I hope that my counsel reached you in your journeys. You find me at a disadvantage. Though the ravens are all my children of a sort, some of them are quite wicked. The ravens of the coven are especially untrustworthy. They caught me unawares and trapped me in this cage. If you would help an old grandmother, talk to the three wise sisters called the Norns at the nearby well. They can see into the past, across the world as it is, and they know what is to come. They can help you set me free. I am Earth. The one who knows all that has happened to you before this day. I am Verdandi, and there is nothing in the spiral that is hidden from my sight. I am Skald, and I knew you were coming. We Norns tend the loom of fate. Each living being is but a thread for us to weave into the tapestry of life. As an outlander, you are free from fate. You are not of Grizzleheim, so your destiny is not part of this tapestry. You alone can change the course of events and thwart the frightful fate that is to come. To free Grandmother Raven, you must do the impossible. First, fetch for us the feather of a white raven. Skogel the Pale is such a raven, with feathers the color of the moon, rather than the night-dark sky. Go to Skogel's hut in Rundlefjord and beg from her a single white feather. If you're from the coven, leave me alone. If you've come to free me, then welcome. The door is frozen shut. If you want to be of help, fetch a kettle from the market and fill it with snow. Melt the snow in the fire pit in the market, and then bring the hot water back to pour over the ice on my door.
You get a cooking pot and quickly fill it with snow. The snow melts and boils quickly. You pour the boiling water over the ice, it melts away. You're not from around here, are you? You have my gratitude for getting rid of the ice, but I'm still plenty mad at what's been done. If you'll go and teach a handful of those ravens a lesson, any of them will do. I'll be willing to listen. So, what are you waiting for? Get out there and thrash some of the ravens that ruined this nice village. Now that the ravens have paid for the trouble they brought to Hrundlfjord, what can I do for you? A feather? An odd request, but if it's for a good cause... Wincing, Skogel pulls out a stray feather and hands it to you. Use that in a spell against me and you'll wish you hadn't. Feather will serve its purpose, but it's only a start. We do not send you on idle errands. The things we need are for a mighty spell to change the fate of a world. The next impossible thing we need is a claw from a bear with no name. In this world, that is no small thing. Vanir Storm Roarer keeps a census of all who dwell here. He knows everyone, and may know if there is one with no name. Vanir is in his hall, and he will help you find this nameless bear. When you have that bear's claw, you can return. You seek a bear without a name? How odd. Why would any bear not want to have a name to echo in glory? I keep a census of all those who live in this village. Read it, and see if it helps. You examine the census. The list of names doesn't include Leith, who is standing outside of town. Is it safe to go back into town? What? 
No name? How could they take Leaf off their senses? I'll have to speak to Vanir about that. What's that? You'd like a claw? How odd. I was just sharpening my claws and the tip of one of them broke off. It must be fate at work. In that case, you should have it. The claw of a bear with no name. You are clever to win such a prize. Clever indeed. A feather from a white raven and a claw from a bear with no name. Two of the three items we need are in hand. The third item is perhaps the most difficult to obtain. A tooth from a wolf who has never known battle. Fate smiles upon you. At the edge of this village is an herbalist called Regan Wildleaf. He may be of help. From here, did you come with the coven, or are you here as a friend to the folk of Harundelfjord? We can use allies in this grave time. I am an herbalist, and I do what I can to heal the sick. A tooth? What a strange request. And an odd coincidence, one I cannot ignore. When the ice first came, I bit a piece of it and broke a tooth. I'll readily give it to you, but can you help me? I have an ache from the missing tooth. And the herbs I need for the remedy are outside of town. I'll need a sprig each of valerian and of amaranth. They grow around the village and outside the front gates. I'll also need a branch of moonwort, which the coven night wings may have taken. Gather those three herbs, bring them to me, and I'll look around and see if I can find that broken tooth. the gatherer. Those herbs will help ease the pain of this broken tooth. And here, this is for you. Regan hands you a jagged piece of broken tooth. That must have hurt coming out. <laughs> 